This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Cy Burgess brand key lock switch that was made in England probably in the 1980s. With 32 separate terminals, it's obviously a very specialized part. I did some testing on it and found that in one key position, the eight oddly numbered circuits are on and the evenly numbered circuits are off. When you flip the switch, everything reverses with the odd circuits off and the even circuits on. Unfortunately, I have no confirmed information on what this switch was used for, but I do have some educated speculation. This came to me from someone who purchased it from the US Air Force in a lot of obsolete aircraft parts. I was told this was used to lock out aircraft weapon systems during training, but I've not been able to confirm what aircraft it was used on, so I take that with a grain of salt. When I first bought this a few years ago, though, I asked if anyone on Twitter could provide additional information. And a viewer from the UK told me this switch was used to control the arming mechanism for Sidewinder missiles fitted on the Jaguar strike aircraft. The Jaguar, of course, is not used in the US, but it does lend some support for the story regarding its use in the US Air Force. If anyone does have more information on this, I'd appreciate it if you would put it in the comments below. As for picking, it's a pretty simple wafer lock, but it's going to pose a bit of a challenge because of how hard it is to turn the key. So let's give this a try. I'm going to use bottom of the keyway tension with this wiper insert, and because of how hard it is to turn that key, we're going to have to put quite a bit of torque on the core, and then a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Little click on one, nothing on two, three, four, click out of five. Back to the beginning, nothing on one, two, click out of three, nothing on four, click out of five, one, two, click out of three, nothing on four, little click on five, click out of one, nothing on two, three, four, Click out of five, and we got this open. Okay, folks, as you saw, it wasn't all that hard to pick. But even so, I think it's a really interesting old lock. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments on this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.